YouTube, it's uh, WG Revival here with the uh, with the Metal Shed on Wheels, the, um, the Chaos Rhino. I've just sort of got, uh, done a bit of panel lining, a bit of tidying up, and I'm going to go a bit more over the top with the weathering, um, a bit more than I normally do anyway. Uh, I just think, yeah, it's a Chaos tank, these are, these are abs, these, these guys are nutters, they're not really going to be looking after the tanks. So I'm just going to take it as a chance to sort of just mess it up a bit more uh, than, well, let's say the uh, British tanks I was doing for World War Two. You know, they were in fairly good nick because they just got off the boat to, in, to go and take Normandy. This I'm going to knacker up a bit, and uh, yeah, I'll keep uh, keep telling you what I'm doing. More in a bit. Okay, stage one uh, done. There's quite a lot of uh, a lot of brown going on there, so this is variously going to represent grime, rust, primer. It's going to be all sorts of things. So I'm going to sort of splash a bit of orange on some of this, splash a bit of silver on it to simulate wear, and then whatever looks a bit crap, I'll cover in mud. More later. Okay. So I've uh, added quite a lot of orange and a bit of a metallic sort of look to it. So we've got bits of metal wearing out, quite a bit of rust, a bit of bare metal showing through, like on the uh, this uh, foot plate here, that sort of thing. You know where that is going to get worn out. And you know, it will just sort of get won't rust because it's constantly getting stepped on, that sort of thing. Um, getting quite pleased with that, maybe not too chuffed with the top, but uh, well, I'll maybe look at that again because it is the most prominent part of the, uh, the model after all, but uh, yeah, it's looking alright, I'm quite pleased with uh, knackering up this model, I've left the uh, the Chaos symbols absolutely pristine because although the, you know, this machine looks like it's fallen to bits, I imagine that the, uh, the quote unquote sacred symbols of Zeech would be uh, will be spotless. Right, okay, I've uh, put quite a lot of mud on this now. And I think, it, I, I like this a lot better because so the overall effect is now a lot less like it's a big blue APC. Alright, it's still a big blue APC but I've just sort of really, really toned the colour down on that. And if you're looking for you know, advanced uh, <laughs> advanced weathering techniques and whatever. I'm just absolutely not. No, I mean, I've really just sort of hit it with a heavy dry brush of uh, the old burnt umber, a slightly less heavy dry brush of uh, cork brown, and a fairly light dry brush of buff. And then back again with the burnt umber because the buff was a bit a bit too bright. It was doing that thing, you know, with the dry brush where you just sort of really exaggerates like the edges of uh, these panels and that sort of thing so uh, it's a fairly simple job I've just realised that these, these things these sort of teeth here hit the ground when the door flaps down and also at the back so I'll probably need to repeat that for uh, for these as well but yeah I mean this is just lots of just varying degrees of dry brushing it's nothing fancy there's no sort of AK interactive, there's no powders going on, there's none of that, it's just it's just a dirty great big brush I'm wiping most of it off. I'll go now because I'm explaining you how to dry brush if you're watching this, I'm sure you know that, I'm sure I'm teaching my grandmother to suck eggs. This is pretty much done now, I'm gonna spruce him up a little. I've put in a little uh, the little viewport things there, I've just uh, I'm quite pleased with that. That's not a lot of work at all. That's just really taking a cleanish tank and dirtying him up, making him look like he's been not very well looked after by a bunch of nutters, which these Chaos Marines are. There we go. I'll get some. Uh, I'll get some matte coat on that, and I'll show you the finished product. So there we go. That's the uh, little tank there, little Rhino, little APC. Now I've got to put some uh, matte varnish on here, but uh, for the purposes of shooting this, I'm going to call it finished. Now, in terms of what I want to get done soon, there are things like finish off the Welsh infantry, 
prize for Mr. Super Chippy, prize for Heresy Productions, King's Questing Night. You can probably throw in Start Off the Wars of the Roses project as well. So in terms of uh, stuff I want to get done, in terms of my priorities, this is about number six on the list. So it's also, as far as like starting off a 40k army goes, a Rhino is possibly a weird choice as well. But uh, what it has done, it's meant that I've picked up a paintbrush, I've finished the thing, and uh, I can get on with some of the stuff that's more more urgent to me, more important to me to get finished, especially the stuff that I want to send off to uh, some of you fellas. So, uh, well there we go, that's a nice quick weathering job anyway, I'm quite pleased with that, I'm going to go and get on with something else now. Actually I'm going to push this around the house and make uh, tank noises. <coughs> Thanks for watching, I'll speak to you soon. But it was blue! Bye!